Hello and welcome back to Shanti Finance. Today we are back with an acrylic painting or um, rather I would like to mention that everything that I can uh, do in acrylic you can do with oil paints as well. You have seen a couple of videos as time lapses of me painting ocean scenes or tropical waters or beaches and uh, I have to mention that I'm typically very attracted to water, seas, oceans, beaches and that is um, one of the subject matters that I really like to explore um, not only as in landscapes but also as backgrounds to a lot of my uh, portrait figurative uh, sort of paintings. So I thought it would be a very interesting idea to cover the basics of how to paint sea and ocean water or how to paint tropical waters uh, because there is a, a lot of dynamics to it. Uh, before we go ahead and delve into the actual video I want to mention that although I'm saying how to paint this is just the basics there is a lot more detail into this matter into this topic than I can actually um, uh, than I have actually demonstrated in this painting I've tried to keep it very basic very simple something of that is doable for beginners and intermediate levels and slowly in upcoming videos I'm going to do more detailed ones and uh, cover a lot more on painting waters or painting seas and oceans um, and the technical the technicalities for that matter um, so I hope this would be a very useful video for you to start off with painting seas and beaches and oceans. Let me know in your likes and comments uh, how you liked it, what more you would like to learn. And uh, definitely do not forget to hit that subscribe button down there because that's the best way of uh, keeping up with what is happening and what is coming up. Thank you for watching. To form the base coat of uh, the tropical ocean waters, I am using four colors, white, thalo blue, thalo green and cat yellow. And I'm following a basic principle that from the top down, I'm building a very gradual, very blended, slow transition from blue to green to more yellow. The reason uh, for that is the closer you are towards the beach, the water gets more shallow and you get to see more of the ground or the uh, beach underneath and that's why it looks more paler yellowish pinkish and the farther away from the shore uh, you see the water it is more blue so that is the most important part the most important first step to painting waters is getting the gradual very blended transition now you can see me adding some whites at random places. I would be using four different kind of pattern strokes a with titanium whites and a fairly small round brush. Uh, either I am creating little smileys like hills, troughs and crests or I am doing a crooked W or I am doing a crooked diamond shape or I'm just doing a zigzag pattern. I am kind of uh, adding these shapes randomly all over to indicate the tips of the peaks of the breaking waves inside the water. That is the first step in creating the wave pattern. And uh, you have to kind of uh, do it joined to one another. The troughs and the crests have to kind of join one another and obviously in this kind of water painting or ocean or sea painting there will be lots and lots of layers so this is just just the beginning part where you are indicating where you are putting your waves if you watch closely you can see that the waves have a pattern like the smileys are kind of in a diagonal row that is because of how water 
uh, reflects the sunlight so at certain areas it would reflect more the tips of the waves will reflect the maximum amount of light and that's why the tips would be the brightest and the brightest and the more downwards you go the deeper into the ocean it will get lighter now I am coming back with the yellow mixed with a little bit of crimson and trying to define the tips of the waves by adding more shadows at the bottom of the waves so again I am creating the same shapes smileys troughs crests it's just that now I am doing that with the darker colors blues greens purples yellows and adding the shadow areas instead of doing the tips so you can see that I am keeping my white tips more or less intact because the brightest reflections has to stay there and adding the darker colors underneath the tips of the waves that is the how I am starting to create the lights and darks and gradual um, reflective patterns in the waves and uh, you can see that the farther away I am going from the shore I am again tending to bring in more blues and the closer I am towards the shore I will add more of yellows so the same pattern follows throughout the painting whether it is the base coat or the waves the farther away the bluer they are the closer you start from blue to green and then slowly pull in more yellows and whites and save the brightest whites just for the tips of the waves because the brightest whites are where the light hits the tip of the waves and reflects straight up so those are the whitest areas now I am coming back with some whites and defining some of the bright areas so there is the whole painting is all about adding layers once with dark once with light once with dark and then come back with light and you can see that I'm varying the layers in colors as well because depending on the time of the day where the Sun is hitting and the type of uh, the water reflection it is getting you will see multiple colors and these multiple colors cannot be done in one stroke and one layer so uh, you have to add in different colors at different layers let the paint dry in between and then come back with the next layer once again I'm coming back with the whites and uh, making the bright tips brighter so it is like I said just uh, the same thing over and over once light once dark once light once dark once build in the reflection and the brightest whites and then come back and define them by adding the darker shadows so like all my usual paintings the contrast is the key to make the brightest whites look bright and brightest you have to add the shadows or the darker colors just next to it and that is how the brights or the brightest reflections will pop out and uh, make sure you kind of form a pattern like you can see that there are diagonal rows which are brighter than the diagonal rows which are kind of the shadow areas so you have to follow that pattern because that is how the sun creates light and shadows in the waters as well and once again let me mention like I have mentioned in the introduction that this is not the technically the supreme uh, video to paint seawater or ocean there is a lot more to it there's a lot more detail that you can add there is a lot more betterment that you can do there's a lot to, more to learn and I will surely make a lot of more videos where I will uh, explain more in details in some the sea would be just as a background in some the sea would be the subject matter and uh, we will learn how to paint the beach how to paint the water how to paint uh, the areas where the water touches the beach and waves and more on crashing waves and everything but for now this is the end of the video thank you for watching